Hello, persons. I'm Kat, and I'm going to talk about how I play Stego and some tips and tricks, including fighting in the new Stego Power Swing. Feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps will be added for easy review. I'm going to start with some basics. Most people already know how to manage their stamina, but it's so important to Stego that I'm going to go over it. Stego stamina is their lifeblood. A Stego with no stam is tasty with ketchup. When traveling, you may need to fight suddenly and be unable or not have the time to lay down to regen stamina. When I see my stam depleting into the side toes of the footprint stam meter, I usually stop using shift. When I do this, I stay over 60% stam and I'm able to regen stam and keep moving. So, you're in a fight and you want to know when to run. As a general rule, don't run. If you do run, watch your stam. It'll be very, very tempting to chase. Don't. Right here, she wants me to chase her. She's tempting me to chase her. It looks really good. I'm like, she's so close. Maybe I could just reach her real quick. Don't. Stegos are slow. They generally don't run. And if you do, you're going to get out of stam, and then you're going to get dead. What can a stego do? Well, you got three moves. First one is bite. Pretty simple. Just bite by clicking your left mouth button. Pretty easy. Your next one you got is your tail swing. You look where you want to aim, and you right click. And your tail is going to swing in the direction your stego is looking. Last but not least, you got Power Swing. Power Swing, you gotta charge it up and get it ready to go. And to do that, you press and hold your right mouse click button. This is gonna be like your normal tail swing, except you gotta charge it up. You hold down your right mouse click, you keep holding it to keep your stance. And while holding it, you click your left mouse click to release your power swing. This one is also going to go where your stego is looking. Aim carefully. Now that you know how to fight, let's look at where to fight. Here I'm about 30% grown with 4 or 5 carnos around me. One Carno is about to charge me and get a face full of spikes. Pay attention to the second Carno that gets free bites off on my head. I reposition to better use the tree and water line to make my stand. Putting your head into a cliff face will do in a pinch, but protecting two or more angles is best. Alright, fast forward a little bit, and this is the same fight. This Carnal right here is doing what is known as baiting. He is coming towards me, biting, trying to make me think that he's in range. No the range of your tails guys it's very important he's doing this because he wants me to swing at him and miss so that my stam goes down and as i've already said a stego with no stam is tasty with ketchup and an easy kill know your range and wait for it you will not be disappointed so i want to say it one more time guys Know the range of your tails. It's going to help you out a lot. And also, when you're working with your allies, be aware of your surroundings. Right now, I'm working with Lion Princess 007 right about here, a tail swiper. Because I was not aware of my surroundings. And I was just goofing off. So stay aware of your surroundings. And if you do end up in this kind of situation, then just have your ally... Find a spot that you can pinch them between yourself and something hard. In this case, Lion goes on over to a curve in the rock 
which is perfect. She sticks her head in it to protect it. You're gonna come on over and cover her back. Here it's me and Lion Princess again. We got a Serato giving us the hungry eye. So the first order of business to make way to the cliff. And once we get there, we take up a defensive position, preferably where one of us can lay down. So that if one of us is injured or low on stam, we will be able to defend ourselves until we either need food or water. Right now, I am on the horn testing server. I am currently full grown, but as you can see, it's getting very, very dark. Stego has a night vision problem, but here's night vision on the horn test, and I think I like it because it's not like you can't see absolutely anything, but at the same time, it is also convoying that. Stego cannot see at night, which is perfect. You can see in front of you. You don't have to follow the tail lights of the guy in front of you. And uh, yeah, good change, guys. Good change. So I hope you all learned something and feel like you can go play Stego's, have some fun, and don't be tasty with ketchup. See y'all.